I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand increasing and decreasing interval for a particular application. The question here is a 10 cm piece of wire is to be cut into two pieces. One piece is to be bent to form a circle and the other is to be bent to form a square. The total enclosed area is given by a of x equals to 1 over 4 pi x square plus 1 over 16 10 minus x whole square. Determine the intervals of increase and decrease of the area as a function of x. Now this is a very important question. We have done derivation of this formula in another video. I will provide you with a link. We will extend this question and also find uh, the maximum and the minimum area in, uh, in another video. Now in this particular video we will explore interval of increasing and decreasing. Now interval of increasing and decreasing means we need to find derivative of the function, right? So we know that the function given to us is 1 over 4 pi. This is a constant x square plus 1 over 16 which is a constant and 10 minus x whole square. So that's the, that's the variable part. So the derivative will be a prime of x is equals to 1 over 4 pi 2x right times 2x plus here the derivative will be 1 over 16 2 times 10 minus x times derivative of inside function which is minus 1 right so that is the derivative to find interval of increasing and decreasing we need to find where is this derivative 0 and then we'll figure out on either side whether it is positive or negative that will give us interval of increasing and decreasing correct so so we can say uh, the derivative a dash x should be equal to 0 uh, so let's figure out where so let's simplify this a bit we have x over 2 pi 2 and 2 that goes x over 2 pi plus minus minus 2 that divides into 16 by 8 so we have minus 8 1 over 8 I mean okay and in the brackets we have 10 minus x 10 minus x correct so that is the expression which we have now so we need to find what x is so that this is 0 right so we'll simplify and find that answer now So let's open this bracket and try to simplify. So we have 0 equals to the common denominator for us is 8 pi, correct? So that 8 pi is the common denominator. So this could be multiplied by 4 now. So we get 4x minus. We have to multiply these terms by pi, right? So we get minus 10 pi, right? And minus and minus becomes plus so plus pi x so plus pi x right so uh, now from here we can take x common so we get if I take x common I get 4 plus pi right 4 plus pi when I take x common 4 plus pi minus 10 pi right 10 pi. Now this you can cross multiply so we get that equal to 0 right. Now we need to isolate x we will take 10 pi to the other side so we get 10 pi equals to x times 4 plus pi or x is equals to 10 pi divided by 4 plus pi. So that is the value of x which we get right now here this is kind of a general expression let me write the expression simplified form as equal to so what we got here was 8 pi as the denominator let me write down 8 pi as the denominator and in the numerator when we simplified it we get uh, x times 4 plus pi, this is a good expression to use, so that is how I will use this expression. x times 4 plus pi minus 10 pi. Okay, so, I'm sorry. Uh, 
minus 10 pi, right? This bracket is here. So, so we have x value as 10 pi divided by 4 plus pi. Right? That is the point which will call this as a critical number. So this is the critical number for us since we equated the area, the derivative at this to 0. So that is the critical number. Now, one more important thing here is, since the wire of 10 centimeters has been bent and x is the length of the wire which was formed into a circle, uh, we know what the limit of x is. So from here we know x should be greater than or equal to 0 and it is less than or equal to 10. So we are working in the domain where x is from 0 to 10, right? So that is very important to understand. Now, to find increasing and decreasing intervals in this domain, we will just analyze the value of the derivative a dash x. So, so we'll, let us say that is the piece of wire which we have and this is the critical number which is at 10 pi over 4 plus pi, right? And the length of the wire extends, that means the value of x from 0 to 10, right? And this is we are analyzing the derivative of area, correct? So let me take a test point here. So if I substitute a value which is less than this number, so let us say if I substitute uh, a number which is which is less, less than this, let us say 1, in that case, what happens to the derivative? So if I have a value, this value, 10 pi over 4 plus pi, if I write 10 pi over 4 plus pi, I get 0, right? Minus 10 pi, I get 0. But if I take a value of x, which is less than this value, right? Less than this value. In that case, the value here will, this value is lesser, right? So if this value is less, we will getting a negative value. So we get negative derivative. But if I take a value which is more than this, let us say if I take value as 8, and calculate a dash x, a prime x I should say, then it will be positive. So what you notice here is that the derivative is negative when we are approaching this point and becomes positive thereafter and it is minimum at this particular point. So the critical number in this particular gives us the minimum, right? And the intervals for increasing and decreasing for us will be will be from 0 to 10 pi by 4. So we have this decreasing interval. So it is decreasing when we are going from 0 to this value. Well, I'm not calculating the roundabout number, but that's the exact value, right? That is the interval of decreasing since the derivative is negative in this interval and the interval of increasing will be from, let me push this page a bit forward, uh, will be from uh, or 10 pi over 4 plus pi to 10, right? So, so including that. So it'll be, we could include this point, right? So we could include this point here and include this point also. Anyway, anyway, so, it, so that is the interval of increasing. So it increases thereafter, right? So that is how you could answer this question. And we'll learn later that this is also a technique to find the minimum value, right? So minimum value will be when the length x converted to circle is this much, 10 pi over 4 plus pi, correct? You can use calculator and find a roundabout value to two decimal places. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.